And welcome back to Open Your Eyes. We're having fun. I'm having fun with the good Senator Martin Zaraga. It's always nice to have you in. Thank always, you. always, always. But it's that time of the morning. We're venture, venturing off now into our final segment for the morning. Uh, like we mentioned, musical guest uh, in with us for this morning. Superstar. Uh, superstar indeed. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And that's Melanie Gillett. Melanie, good morning. Hi, good morning. How is you doing? I'm good, thanks, and you? Good morning, Belize. We're doing great. I'll tell you that much. It's so nice to see you. You did mention you're not able to see us at this point, but it's so nice to see you. Thank you. <laughs> so, so, so what you've been up to the last time we spoke, you had something going on. It's always something going on with you, either studies, new music, uh, culture, life. How you been? I've been good. I stay busy. I keep, you know, a lot of people ask me when would I do more music or why did I stop doing music? But the reality is that I never did stop doing music. Yeah. And it's, you know, sometimes with music, you have to do work in the background. So yeah. that was what I was doing. But more recently, I put out a new song, which I'm very excited about because I had to put out a song in about two years, I would say, yeah. called Search For Me. Hmm. Search for me. How, how did yeah, I, 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 What I want to know is who, who is that message for? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the search for me. How did you get to that? What, what, what happened? Um, well, you know, I always write from the heart. And it's not always my experience that I'm writing about. But okay. I do tap into other people's experiences and listen and I mean, I'm sure at some point in time, for most people, they've experienced a heartbreak or something like that. And yeah. this song speaks of overcoming heartbreak and realizing your worth, you know, because a lot of times we, we tend to downplay our value and our worth based on what other people think of us. And yeah. I think the main message in the song search for me is basically to say you know i know my words i'm valuable and you've heard me you'll search for me you'll never find me again wow oh wow, wow. and those are some deep lyrics and you there. wrote the words yourself yes i did what about the music do you write the music too the music was the beat was actually um produced by an international uh, producer mantra mm -hmm. and produced by Kendall Simpson of course I've been working with Kendall since 2007 wow. so yes um, Melanie help me here when you are inspired to write I guess you write first and you, and, and you write words mm -hmm. and while you're writing are you hearing the music do you know what yeah. do you know what Beat what will beat go with want? that. I mean, yeah. talk to us about that process. How, how do you write a song and bring it to music? To light, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there are several different processes. Um, it could be like, in this case, the beat was provided before and I wrote okay. to the beat. So okay. in this case, the melody was already established in the beat and there are several melodies you can get from the beat. So the melody that I found was what I got. Other people might get a different melody. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the way that I mostly write is, um, or at least in the past, was to, like you said, the words come, but most of the time my words come with lyrics, I'm yeah. um, sorry, with melodies. Okay. So at the same time a word is coming, the words are coming, the melody is coming. So uh, something like, uh, you didn't let me in your life. You know, it's going to come same time. No. I mean, that's, that's not a good example, but. <laughs> no. Or let's say, um, shake, 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 shake it up. And then wind down to the ground. So generally that's going to come. And then, the, then the, the melody comes at the same time. But if it's a beat I'm writing to, then there, the melodies are already embedded into that beat. And I'll just find something from that. What is wow. easier to write with a write with a beat already in mind or trying to write with a melody? Um, I think I think I'm going into the writing to the beat because yeah. um, 
it inspires you sometimes. You know, it helps you to be creative. I've done going on 40 songs to date, and sometimes we lose the creativity a little. So it's good to have something to inspire me and, and give me, um, you know, it, it kind of gives me a little nudge in a little different direction sometimes. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if I prefer one over the other, but I like the new experience of, of, of recording and writing in this way. You, you, um, I, I, I'm watching uh, as, as we speak um, uh, clips of the video. There, we're showing some clips, and I noticed that you always there is always a story to how your videos are, direct, are directed. Who direct your videos for you? Over the years, several people have directed for me. The first person loved me mm -hmm. was Tony Ra, and then um, after that, I worked with. Um, um, come away that was Ben Hudson and Paul Hudson and Peter Hudson and then um, after that I kind of branched out on my own with Metamorph Creative producing and directing and sometimes editing my own music videos yeah wow that's excellent now you write you sing you, you do everything huh? <laughs> yes, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That, that is a good thing. I, I, it just simply means that you're well wrong. That I really and truly appreciate that. So are and we are we going to hear some words from this new song, "Search for Me"? Yeah, will, sure. will you sing it for us? Will you? Will you introduce it for <laughs> us? Will you intro? I mean, <laughs> All right, I'd like to introduce it for you. All right, okay. go ahead. Introduce introduce this one. We can't wait to see it. Well, good morning, Belize. Let me introduce you to my new track, Search For Me. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, 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 you'll never find me. You'll never find me. You'll never find me. 
you want you want to search or you don't want to search? Because you just say search for me, but you'll never find me. I mean. <laughs> being, Do you want to be found? Yeah, you're being you're being daring in that video. You're being very daring well, in that video. Maybe, yeah. Maybe what it means is for that person, they'll have to look extra hard. Yeah. I think um in in this world, we don't treat love the way that it should be treated and we don't understand the effect of heartbreak yeah. and the pain that it causes, the scars. And so, you know, I think, I wish that people would realize how much they affect people when they play games with them, when, they, yeah. when, they, when they're not serious in a relationship and, and the scars that they leave behind. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of the things I got from it though, uh, Melanie, um, search for me, you'll never find me, is simple being taken for um, granted. I'm, I'm, yep. I'm not hearing you well. Okay, so probably if I speak up a little, are you hearing me now? Um, Are you hearing me? A little better. All right. So, so one of the things I got from it is that there are people who do take advantage because you're there in heart for them. Then what they do is that they play that little game with you. So what you're saying is you could search for me, you know, but you're never going to find me, at least this version of me anymore. And that's not what I think I got from the video. Exactly. You'll never find that same person again. You'll find maybe you know if you play your cards right you could find that person again but that will be a different person that person has changed you have helped to change that person yeah. so you really have to search to find that person if, if you really want it and then then that way you really know that it's true love there wow. there's so there's so many um wonderful things that i saw in the video especially uh that part with the with the with the um hand trying to the shadow of a hand trying to pull up and who, who did who did these work for you? Those works. These are all um, international clips uh -huh. that I had compiled because I haven't done the music video as yet. So I I wanted to do something that would portray the the emotion, the visuals of this song until I do the music video. Now, so yeah. I I compiled all the shots that I thought brought across that emotion that the song was bringing across. And I think you did a good well job. Well done. Yeah. Beautifully done. It is really professional, Thank you. really nice. Where can we get this? I mean, how, how yeah. do we get it? I mean... It can be um, downloaded on iTunes. It's on okay. Spotify. It's on Apple Music. It's on uh, pretty much everything you can download music on. It's there right now. It's on YouTube. The, there's a Facebook video as well, so um, it's everywhere you could. I always say, Google me. Ah, <laughs> excellent. You need a song like that. No, Google me. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's a good idea. I like it. But Mel, um, you know, uh, of course, we're in this we're in this pandemic. There are tough times ahead, and there are so many artists out there who'd like to put things together, but might just not have that way to do it. What is your advice, especially to young and upcoming artists in terms of I'm how sorry, to get your can you repeat out? it one more time? I was I was saying what is what is what would be your advice to upcoming artists or folks who would want to put pen to paper and try to bring something out? What would you advise me to do in terms of bringing my work out? I would say go for it, just do it, you know, you can't sit and ponder and say, "Oh, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll get the courage to do it next week or you can't wait. You just have to do it. But what you have to make sure you do is ensure that the quality you are putting out there is the best. You, you really can't just take it for granted and say, OK, I'm just going to pick up my phone and re record a song or I'm just, you know, doing something quick and easy. No, it's not like that. You have to maintain a certain standard. You could have the best song. But if it's not recorded with the right, um, in the right studio and edited by the right producer, in my case, Kendall Simpson, um, you're not going to get a good song at the end of the day. It's going to be, you know, powerful lyrics and powerful emotions, but it's not going to come across the way it should. Mm -hmm. And also, um, most importantly, ensure that you tie your music into a you make it your business it is your business it's not just art it's not just a hobby yes you can do that you can do that too but if your plan is to make money from music you have to ensure that you have everything set up um unfortunately more recently kendoyle um 
and Dane Linares, two producers who are, I mean, well-known and, and produce professional quality music in Belize, have um, been educating the artists on how to do this, even when they they don't know how, they will show you how. So if you're an artist and you want to be a professional artist, I would recommend that you reach out to them and they will definitely uh, show you the road, which is something I wish I had in 2007 when I started. Yeah, very Beautiful. good advice. Yeah, very, very good advice. Very well said. You have to produce quality, you have to be professional, yeah. and it takes work, dedication, and, and Melanie, it shows that, that you have put in the blood, sweat, and tears, I'm sure, in, into all your production. Congratulations. <laughs> any, any, what, do you have anything else uh, on the horizon coming up? I do have a, um, a, actually in coordination with the same project that I just mentioned with Kendall and Dean, I received a Paranda beat from them and I just oh, uh, wow. recorded the vocals for what? that. So. Oh. <laughs> you could give us a little teaser? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I kind of did earlier, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Marked up. Okay, I'll just do it a cappella. All okay. right, sure. So we gonna work out every day. We the boss, so we no play. When the trouble hit your mind, and you're working all the time, we know when they pay, they come. Back it for so it they jump. Take care of our business. Got no time for no worry. Always steady on the grind. Just relax and boss and wine, wine, oh, yeah. wine, wine, wine. <laughs> Very good. The neck nearly drop off. The head nearly drop off for my body. You put you put you in the spirit. <laughs> Melanie, um, you continue to impress every yeah. day. That's just who you've been ever since you hit the entertainment scene in our lovely country. Mel, thank you so thank so you. very much, man. It's so nice to see you. And good luck. Thanks. Good luck on all all your future endeavors and on this one. Search for me. I'm going to go search for it right now. <laughs> but just before you go, it's a fun Friday and I need to test your, your music knowledge too. There's a song, there's a song that I, I really liked um, back in the day and I used to always play it on a Saturday. And the song says, Holy light, Maku, holy light, holy light, Maku, holy light, holy light, make I see the bobo man, holy light. Who sing that song? Well, that would be, if I get that wrong, uh -huh. something wrong. <laughs> Um, I love that song, uh -huh. and it, it's one of our well-known folklore songs. That would be Brad Patico. There you go. And that's the reason why I sung it, because she the boom, girl. Yes. <laughs> Brad and I actually have a song together, you know. Wow. Really? Oh, so we've got, we've got other things to talk about the next time we see you. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right, Mel, thank you so very much. Do enjoy your weekend. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Goodbye, Belize. Bye-bye. Well, well, Mark, I tell you what, the, the songs just come on out, and she is a well-rounded uh, artist. Excellent time hanging out with her, and it's always nice to see you. You're welcome anytime. I'd look for it right now and download it. Which one? Um, <laughs> search for me. Search for of me. Course. You're searching. <laughs> so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to search out this commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to search out the show. So stay with us. We'll be right back.